It's not a little spike. It's a huge spike in gun violence. It continues across many states, many United States cities. Uh, right now, in 2021, we're on pace to be the worst year in decades for gun violence. After a recent string of school shootings and murders, people in Pennsylvania have decided they're going to take action. They're going to empower themselves to prevent more homicides. BNT's Astrid Martinez is in Philly with the story. The toll of gun violence touches everyone, and it's almost a daily occurrence here in the city of Philadelphia. Just recently, the city hit the grim record of 500 homicides per year. That means this is the most violent year in the city's history. So people feel like they need to do anything to prevent any more tragedies from happening. Shootings and homicides have been an issue for years, but 2021 seems different. This year already on track to be the worst year for gun violence in a decade across the country. According to the Gun Violence Archive, mass shootings are also on the rise. You cannot discount what COVID-19 has done to the community, to the state of mind people are in, uh, to the ways in which people have been impacted financially and just the overall stress. That being said, the numbers before COVID were already too high as well. And so we've got to find new approaches to end gun violence and killing. In the city of Philadelphia, where a grim record of more than 520 people murdered has been set, one approach is a crime prevention app. Safe to Say was launched by the Pennsylvania Office of Attorney General with the help of the Sandy Hook Promise. The Youth Violence Prevention Program is a place where residents can anonymously share information 24 hours a day about brewing neighborhood beefs that can potentially turn into gun violence. Any initiative that will help solve or prevent one murder is important and I think worthy of pursuing. The tips are vetted, then passed along to local police and school districts. School officials say they believe the anonymous platform has been instrumental in helping kids report bullying and other life safety issues. Senior Pastor Kelly says all these initiatives are a start, but not enough. The idea that um, people are afraid because they'll be targeted if they come forward, is uh, absolutely real. If you have an anonymous tip, that's one thing, but you can't make a case with anonymous tips. You're going to have to have people who will come forward and testify. But, you know, again, we are the poorest big city in America. And so it's not like people have the resources to pick their family up and move to another state or to another city should they come forward. Coming forward with information is literally a case of life or death in many black and brown neighborhoods. Pastor Kelly says reward money for tips should increase and places that responsibility back on law enforcement and policymakers. Pastor Kelly says anonymous tips do work, but they are not enough. You need to have convictions and you can't have those if people fear for their lives. In Philadelphia, I'm Astrid Martinez for BNC. Mm. Mm. You know, it's, it's difficult to hear that. Um, you know, I grew up in the Philadelphia area. What's going on there is horrific, mm. but this is going on in a lot of cities, Philadelphia. It's more mm -hmm. than what's going on in a lot of cities. Number seven nationwide for black homicides. Okay. That's what's going on. And so I was glancing down, and you know, I have my glasses on these days. Um, mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. perusing what's called the Philadelphia Obituary Project. Because mm -hmm. anonymous tips are one thing, anonymous victims are another. And I want mm. to say their names. I want to hear about that. These aren't just <laughs> things that we will dismiss as a statistic for 2021, just as we did in 2020, 2019, 2018, on down the line. These are people, young people, a lot of black men, 9%. Uh, women, I believe, black women. These mm -hmm. are dreams that will be left unfulfilled. Yes. These are mm -hmm. promises unkept. These are everyday people. People who look like us and deserve to be humanized as we see a crime scene investigator with gloves and a mask processing another murder mm -hmm. scene. What are their names? Because you see, you can't mm -hmm. have this kind of killing if you humanize people and care. People who pull the trigger and do this have been conditioned 
not to see the consequences and not to even see people, even people who look like them, you know? So I want and desperately crave that approach. Not about anonymous tips. As the gentleman said in the piece, you can't really solve murders on anonymous tips. It might lead you in the right direction. You can pick up another scent. Mm -hmm. I want mm -hmm. their names. And I want the reporting to reflect it. I want you to humanize these people as if they matter, because they do. Yeah. Uh, the stats say uh, Pennsylvania ranks seventh nationwide in black homicides. Uh, like you said, it's just not a Philadelphia issue. It's a issue that's happening uh, uh, across this country, and it's been happening for a long period of time. It takes me back to the school shooting uh, that we saw last week in Michigan. And it just reminded me, it's like, you know what? We've been having school shootings for as long as I can remember. And not talking about mass school shootings, long before Columbine. I remember when I was in high school, which was a long time ago, Sharon, uh, mm -hmm. metal detectors being put up. My last year in high school, metal detectors. And it wasn't because somebody was bringing knives into the schools, because people were bringing guns into the school. I remember seeing a, a, a dude get shot in the leg outside of my high school. When I was, this was in the in the eighties, so it's been going on for a long time, and people are just now starting to talk about it because it's starting to happen in certain communities at certain high schools. We yeah. get that, yeah. but it's been happening in our communities for a long period of time, and I don't care. But I don't believe in that black on black crime because people kill who they are yeah. living with. That's just how that goes. All right, but if there's an issue inside our community, it has to stop, and it has to stop or start with us to make it stop. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about these anonymous tips mm -hmm. or whatever, people are so afraid of the word snitching. <laughs> I, you know, and, 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 and part of me, because I grew up in a certain environment, I understand that and I understand snitching is not a good thing to do, especially in your communities because there could be blowback. But at the same time, Sharon, in order to stop certain things from happening, if you want it to stop happening in your community, you have got to point out, hey, did, yep, did, he, he did it. Yep, she, she, she did it. G get him out of here because we want to be able to have a safe environment where our kids can grow up. And the only way that's going to happen is if you find the person, the right person now that did it. Because guess what happens if you don't? If you don't point them out, then you're going to leave it up to a police department that's just going to grab somebody off the streets because they want to convict somebody and they may not grab the right person. So think about your you know the actions worse? and the consequences and everything that goes, was that? They're not going to grab anybody. I'm, I'm reading about how many not. of these are unsolved murders. You never know. Mm -hmm. Could be mm -hmm. living next door to a killer. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a tease there. I'm not going to read the tease. You can take it out. I'm going to read the names. Jaden, 54 murders. Yeah. 54 murders in Philadelphia mm -hmm. in November alone. 54 mm -hmm. murders. Jaden McCaskill, age 22. Raymond Lighty, 43. Shaid Brown, 25. Joseph Porter, 36. Khalil Campbell, 22. Jose Aces, 23. Just take us out because I've got mm. a lot of reading to do yeah. here and we're not going to stick around for all of it. These people matter.